All right, folks, back on the Boss Man Show with the new head coach of the Towson Tigers, Pete Shinnick, will be here on the Boss Man Show. Coach Pete, how you doing, man? Look, I love the shirt you got on there, man. Under Armour representing, I love it, man. <laughs> no, doing great, man. Appreciate you having me on. Thanks for this opportunity. Anytime, Coach, well, tell me about this, man. You was, you was down in, in, in Florida, man, West Florida, man, great Division II school. And what about the opportunity at Towson to really stand out to you to want to come up here, help this program move forward and be better, man? Yeah, I really loved uh, just kind of the vision that Towson has uh, for its future. Um, if you look at the campus the last 10 years and what's going to take place uh, in the next five years, just the growth and development of what's taking place. Uh, I think it's situated in a, you know, a great uh, population of high school football, uh, a lot of great coaches and players in that area. And I've been at West Florida, you know, for nine years. We'd had six amazing seasons really blessed with the success that we had there and felt like this was a great opportunity to just kind of take the next step in my personal career. No doubt, Coach Pete. No matter what man, um, my father is a coach. He was, He's 84 years old, man. He's a coach. So I want to ask you, what, what was your why getting the coach? I know my father talked to me about he wanted to help young men. Like, so what was your why to get into coaching and want to become a coach? And when, when did you know that you wanted to be a coach? Yeah, well, my dad was a coach, so I got an opportunity to see him. And really, he had a huge impact, huge influence on my life just as to how he worked with the men uh, that he coached. He coached in the NFL for a long time. And really talking to some of those guys and running into different players that he had connections with, them sharing their stories of how my dad impacted and influenced them. And so really, I got into coaching to impact and influence young men in a positive way. That was really what I was trying to do. That was the goal. That was the objective. And so uh, I've been very fortunate and blessed to be able to, to uh, continue to do that now. And hey, Coach Pete, I, I know it's on Father's Day, man. My dad gets up and texts his old players on Father's Day. It's in a picture of, of, his, of their kids. He's invited to their wedding. So I just see from my dad how him being a coach really impacted those young men's lives. And I, I think that I think it's what you all do as coaches are so important. Being a coach's son, myself, like you are, man, I feel like it helped made me the person I am today, motivated me to be, be who I am today, be able to lead people and, and be I'm very much about helping others be better. No, I agree. And I mean, for me, that's always been the purpose. Um, you know, I know to keep my job, I got to win games. That's part of the process. OK, but I mean, that's everybody's process. And so I'm a relationship guy. I want to treat people a certain way. I want them to have a great experience. Um, you know, probably one of the best advice that my dad gave me is, you know, he goes, you get into this profession. Don't forget what it's like to be a player. Don't forget what the player experience is all about. And so how can you help the player grow as a person while also enjoying the game, while also maximizing your time and putting a great product on the field? You know, as a head coach, you got to keep a lot of people happy, right? You got to keep players. You got to keep coaches. You got to uh, support staff, fans, alumni, everybody. How do you, you know, how do you make this thing go? So uh, from my standpoint, it's, you know, trying to, number one, put the players first, give them a great opportunity to experience something that uh, puts them in a great situation, and everything else kind of falls into place after that. And how has it been, Coach Pete, uh, getting to know these guys that you have here now at Towson with you uh, over, over the spring here into the summer workouts here as you're heading to fall camp in August? So how has it been meeting these guys and giving them the buy-in to you and see who you are as a person and the relationships with you that are very important? Well, it's been great. And I give the, I give these players a ton of credit because they've done a fantastic job just really understanding who we are and what we're doing and how we're doing it. Uh, they bought into the culture. They bought into uh, what we were trying to input offensively and defensively. So really pleased with our current group, uh, how they're reacting to everything that's taking place. And then at the same time, uh, you know, we're able to get started, got a new strength coach in place. He started with us this summer. He's really uh, picked up uh, the intensity of what we're doing and how we're doing it. Uh, so loving where we're at right now uh, and what we're getting accomplished. And Coach P, you said something very important. I don't think fans understand how important the strength coach is. That, that, that he's with the players more than you You all are most of the time. And he can handle stuff that doesn't get, get, get to you. He's out there. He's like the counselor, the father, the brother, the mentor. So talk about how important having a great strength coach is to be more than just a strength coach, but help the guys personally when things are really going, helping them get in, get in the right mindset to have a great day. 
Oh, yeah, no, that position is crucial. Uh, Jake Views, our strength coach, we were able to hire him. He came over from the University of Maryland. He was actually with us at the University of West Florida when we won a national championship. So he's been a huge addition uh, to really just getting our guys into the right mindset, doing what uh, what we need them to do. And you hit it on the head. I mean, that guy's going to spend a lot of time with your players. That guy's going to be dialed in uh, with the makeup of your team, what needs to take place, how they need to do things, what needs to take place, what you know, how they need to handle themselves. He's going to have the opportunity to interact when coaches aren't around. Uh, so that's a huge, huge hire uh, and a huge piece of every program. That guy's got to be right. He's got to be dialed in. He's got to be a great fit for the culture, great fit for the program. Uh, so really excited about uh, what Coach View's doing with our guys. And Coach Pete, talk about this, Coach Pete. What's going to be the pillars of your program and the values that a young man must have to play for the Towson Tigers and you and your program? Yeah, great question. Uh, our program theme is the Greek word arete, A-R-E-T-E. -E. It's the Greek word for excellence. It means excellence of any kind, living up to one's fullest potential and moral virtue. So when you take those three definitions right there, you got a lot to uh, convey on 18 to 25 year olds. Because, uh, hey, man, are you living up to your fullest potential? Are you doing everything possible to be the best that you can be? Moral virtue, are you doing what's right? Are you being excellent? Are you going to be an excellent husband, an excellent father, an excellent employer, employee? That's what we're striving to help these guys develop. And then we have three values. They're not core values yet. Our guys got to embrace them to the fullest, but those values are smart, hard work. John Wooden had industriousness as the corner of uh, his pyramid of success. Smart, hard work is very similar to that. We want to be effective. We want to be efficient. We want to use our time as wisely as possible. Positive energy is another value, and unity uh, is our loss value. So everything we do is going to be around you living up to your fullest potential. Are we doing it the most efficient way? <clears throat> are we doing it to build unity? And are we positive in how we're doing it? And Coach Pete, I must tell you, Coach Pete, I feel like football and sports in general is big on unity. I remember being a young man, four or five years old, that taught me about diversity playing football, you know? So I think the team sports, football, baseball, I play as a young man, show me a more to, there's more to it than just your own environment. We all have different backgrounds. We all want to win that game on Saturday. All us little kids, we didn't care what, what race we were, what religion we were. It was just about winning those games. So unity in football and baseball and team sports is something that I feel like our world can copy. It'll be a, it'll be a much better, better, better place, Coach Pete. Well, no doubt. And, I, I mean, to me, it's always been a standard of what our programs have tried to do. We try to do everything we can to get to know our teammates, spend time with our teammates, build great relationships. And it's funny you say that. I mean, as a pillar, really, of society – uh, you know, I, I got a marketing degree from the University of Colorado. I was fortunate enough to play football there, be a part of that program back in the mid 80s. Also, so in my business degree, you know, I was not the smartest guy in the room. OK, and so uh, there were a lot of really good students in the room. But anytime that we would do a group project. OK, uh, you know, again, there were people doing better on tests. There were people doing better on papers, that type of thing. But anytime we did a group project, I was the one who kind of brought the group together, organized it, found a way to get everybody to work together and, you know, produce some sort of project. And I, I attribute that to football. Uh, you know, we got 120 guys on the roster, 110 guys on the roster. How do we get everybody moving in the same direction? And so when, uh, you know, going back to those business classes, all right, you're in a group of six. It's like, all right, hey, you do this, you do this, you do that. I'll do this part because you've got to in football. That's what it's all about. I'm relying on the guy next to me. I'm relying on the guy, you know, who's on the back end of the defense, even though I'm playing O-line. Everybody relies on each other. You got to have a form of unity. You got to have a sense of uh, camaraderie in what we're doing. And Coach Pete, you and I have that in common. We both have business degrees in marketing. So we're the same, we're the same degree, coach. <laughs> we're the same degree. We all, we can, we all the same degree. It. We have the same degree, coach. I love it. Hey, coach, you're the CAA, man, the Colonial Athletic and Association Conference, of man. Uh, talk about that conference and how tough coaching is in that league. It's always been great football uh, produced from that conference. Talk about that, man, being a league like that. So much elite talent that that can't play on Sundays as well. Oh yeah, no, great league. It was one of the appealing things about the job. I, 
you know, I think you're going to be challenged week in and week out. Uh, I think one of the things that you're always trying to do as a coach is keep your team prepared, you know, for every game. And I think in our conference, you got to challenge every week. And so that keeps you fresher. It keeps you more dialed in. It keeps you, um, you know, focused on what needs to take place, how we need to do things. So I, I love the league. Um, got a lot of respect for all the coaches in the league. They're doing an amazing job. Uh, we're going to have to be at our best to uh, compete at the level that we want to. Uh, five teams from our league made the playoffs last year. I think that's huge. And, uh, you know, we look forward to being in the mix uh, as we build this program. And, Coach, being in Maryland, talk about being able to recruit the Mid-Atlantic, go up north, north, northeast, go to the south, because you're in a perfect position kind of down in the middle to go where we want to go and find talent. You just kind of just say, hey, we are get down this far. So how talk about the location of Towson to find elite talent that, that fits your program and to, to help you all win games, man. Oh yeah. Huge. DMV is a great area. Uh, you know, going out in, last fall and this spring, I mean, everybody recruits this area. I've run into West coast teams, big 10 teams, SEC teams, ACC teams, big 12 teams. We've run into everybody. Everybody recruits this area. You can get in and out. You fly into Baltimore. You fly into, um, you know, um, the uh, the D.C. airport. You can get in and out. Uh, we feel like there's a great amount of talent here, and so we're going to always start locally. We're always going to start with guys right around the area uh, and then kind of branch out. But, you know, we want to build our team with local guys. We want to build our team with guys from here. But then also sprinkle in some guys from other places, too, because people want to come and be a part of this. Uh, it's been fun. Gotten some guys from uh, Florida, gotten some guys from South Carolina, gotten some guys from North Carolina. So uh, there, there's some positives in where we're at. Towson's an amazing town, great location. You know, you got the urban setting, but you also, if you want to go hunting and fishing, just go about 10 minutes uh, north because we're, we're really in that type of area. Uh, very unique area, very unique setup. Uh, so we're, we're excited about uh, the talent in the area, and then also to be able to recruit guys from outside the area into the Towson area. 100% coach. I feel like for a young man here in Atlanta, it's a good, easy flight up there, not that far away. Family to fly and see you play, or you, or if you, you had to drive, you can drive it too, coach. I think it's a good area for that yep. as well. And you, you got to get, you, I look at your non con schedule, coach. You got a non, non con schedule at Maryland. You got Morgan State, which is a cl cl close by as well. No folks. Talk about coming up with that non that non conference schedule for your your team to challenge yourselves before you get in the CAA, CAA play to try to get your playoff spot. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm not quite sure. I knew Maryland was on the uh, schedule when I took the job, so uh, I should have checked that a little a little better. Uh, no, uh, great way to open up. Really great way to figure out who you are, where you're at, uh, what your uh, level of expectation is. How do you get to that place? Quickly, we've been striving for that. Uh, Morgan State, I think, has become a great, great game. Uh, it's, you know, it, it really is uh, a great rivalry. So that's a close one. Norfolk State, they're getting better and better every year. So I feel like our non-conference schedule really prepares us well uh, for the CAA. We're a little different uh, in that, you know, we'll play a CAA game right after the Maryland game. We, we open conference play week two. So we get a chance to kind of see who we are, where we are, and what all that looks like. So, uh, you know, I feel like our schedule this year, extremely challenging. We're going to need to be at our best week in and week out. We're going to need to have an opportunity to, you know, go out and play at the level that we're capable of to be in the, all those games. But um, I like the competition, and I like where we're at. Last one for you, Coach, this man, the Coach, on this show, Coach, we're foodies here on this show, Coach. So I asked, what's been your favorite food spot up there in Towson so far, man? Well, I'll tell you, I haven't experienced all of them, so I'm going to I'm gonna hold out because I don't want to exclude because I got a list, Coach, of how many places I go, all right? Uh, but I will say this. Every place I've been has been pretty good. There isn't a place that I wouldn't go back to. Uh, and so my wife and I have been – branching out and visiting. So give me a little bit of time because I still got to check through uh, some of the places that have been recommended, but you know, love a good, love a good steak. All right. Love, love, love a good Mexican restaurant. And then, uh, you know, take some, you know, take some Italian every now and then too. good pizza. So I've, I've experienced a handful of places that I really like, but I'll hold off on naming a favorite here uh, until I can get to a few more locals. 
Hey, say that again. I didn't I didn't quite hear that one. You were kind of going out on me. I said I was I said I enjoyed our chat today, coach, and your energy, man. We had to go skiing real soon, man. No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on. Excited to be with you and uh look forward to doing it again sometime. Inside coach, you be safe, man. All right, you too. Thank All right you. Now.